Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hello. Yeah, what up, my brother? How you doing? I'm pretty good. Yourself? How you doing? Regular. You already know. Um, you commented on the um, you commented on the uh the situation where they're talking about with uh OG Mac. Somebody mentioned it. Uh, could you just explain what you mean by he's still on the count? Yeah, what I did was when I when I when I first encountered it on the on the internet. It came on my, uh, it came like a message on my, uh, on my, on my YouTube. So I looked, I'm like, oh, what was this? Well, I went on it and I watched it and I was like, okay. But then it was like three things that I had to consider. I said, wait a minute. The man is an ADX. So being that he's an ADX, they only have one man pin. And there are other pins where they have two man pins. Mm. The, the most that they have, is three man pen. That's when um um before rest in peace, uh John Gotti, John Gotti had got into an incident over there in uh ADX in the yards. Um because they put him in I think it was a two man pen with another dude. And um they got into an argument or whatever and that was it, they separated them. But they 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 don't have like where they put you in like four or five man pen. Mm. So I was, so I'm looking at the story and I'm like, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if that's true. So now what I did was I went on BOP, uh, it may look up. Okay. And, uh, I put the, I put his name in there and his name is still there as he's still there. Me, meaning, you know, what happens is that if that would have been true, then uh, next to his name, it would have said deceased. Because what happens is that, um, the minute you're considered dead, then what they do is that you, you're off the count now. You're not on the count no more. Copy. So they can't have they can't have you like you know you know the police have to do their count uh, like four or five times a, a day. day. And, and when they do yeah, and when they do their count, everybody's accounted for. Somebody gets killed in the jail, then what they do is you're you're not on the count anymore. You took it off the count. So now when you go to BO when you go to BOP and they look up, you can tell whether the, something happened to the person or not, or the person got moved because it'll tell you right there. You know what I'm saying? So um he definitely the person that put that up definitely was freestyling uh because there is no confirmation on it. When even when you look on the link in the on the internet, you see that it all goes back to him. So mm. it's like he he's the only source of information when it comes to that situation. But and then again, you say, where does he get his information from? Because the story that he said was that OG Mac was in the state. You know what I'm saying? And OG Mac is not in the state. OG Mac is in federal uh, Marion ADX. He on the ground. So. You know, I saw a, cu a, a couple of inconsistencies when he was telling the story. You know what I'm saying? He was telling the story. That basically, he was saying that OG Mac was sending orders, um, telling people to do things and this and that. They don't do it. This, that's that's not true either because that man don't have no that power. He's not. He, he don't have that power to do that. Everybody knows about his situation. So, therefore, that... Explain what you mean by awesome. explain what you mean by that man don't have that power. Explain that real quick, if you can. He don't have. He don't have. No, nah, it's all right. He don't have that power because he lost his power when they, they they found out. You know what I'm saying that he was a rat. Okay, so, so which power it. did he lose? I'm just trying to sort of. Me and you know what we're talking about, but there's people listening. Oh, as far as power over people, period. That his position. Blood. Yeah, his position. His, his, his ranking. He was like, uh, uh, like, let's say, uh, uh he was like the Attila the Hun, and the Attila the Hun got vanquished out of his regime. 
Okay, because copy. he did something. He got he did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? So he don't have no power to make any calls and all of that stuff. So when 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 if you look at his story, there's a lot of inconsistencies <laughs> in his story. Number one is the state. OG Mack is not in the state, and being that he has 50 years in the feds, they're not going to um, bring him back to the state. Federal, once you're in federal custody and you got a lot of time to do in federal custody, feds don't they let you go. take over. Huh? The feds don't let you go. They keep you. Yeah, they keep you. Yeah, they're not sending you back. You know what I'm saying? They did that to Magoo. You know what I'm saying? Magoo was in the state and they re-indicted him. And once they re-indicted him, they kept him in the feds. They never sent him back to the state. So, uh, OG Mack has 50. And uh, he's definitely not going to the state because he don't have no state charges. So when he's talking about that, he was sending orders and that uh, one dude got fed up and that uh, they went at him and all this other stuff. I mean, that, that, that information is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because he's making it seem like the man still has the ability to move pieces. And he don't have the ability to move pieces. That, that was relinquished years ago. So, dude, just okay. making up stuff is. It seems like from 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 your perspective, and for what you know about prison in general, and from what you know about the abilities or what uh, OG Matt can and can't currently do because of his situation, what what was reported is just not correct. Or yeah, it doesn't not, sound. It sounds fishy. Yeah, it's. I, I say it's not correct. And it's not, it sounds fishy. Because, you know, my thing is this. You're taking a man from one jurisdiction and you're putting him in another jurisdiction that he has no reason to be in that jurisdiction. That's number one. Number two, if, if he, if he gonna say, oh, I made a mistake by saying state, I meant to say the feds. Okay. Well, if he says the feds, then hold up. The man's in ADX. And in ADX, there is no, uh, you going out there with a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? And there's other people there in ADX. You got, look, you got Rod Diggs in ADX. You got Pistol Pete in ADX. You see what I'm saying? And they all know the situation with Matt. So it ain't like he's going to be over there calling any shots. And you got Rod Diggs and you got um, uh, uh, Pistol Pete over there. Why would he, that, that's, that don't make no sense. They already know his situation. So they're not going to let him go out there and be like, yo, I'm this and I'm that. Cause they're going to be like, nah, son, that's a rap. You know what I'm saying? So when he's saying that his story is that he was sending people to do things, well, who, who, who can he send to do things? When you're ADX, you have no contact. You know what I'm saying? You have no contact with the outside world. Everything is monitored. The feds are so strict that when people come to see you and you're a regular prisoner, not ADX, and you're a regular prisoner, if, let's say it's your mom or your pops and they had a felony a long time ago or even a misdemeanor a long time ago, they're not going to let them come see you. It's not like the state. The state, anyone can come see you as long as they have two, two forms of ID. And the feds is like this. They're going by your back. They're going to do a background check on you like if you're going to get a job. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's a whole totally different thing. So it's impossible that that happened. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's impossible because the man wasn't calling those shots. He hasn't been calling those shots for a long time. And you got people down there that's with, that's there with him, you know, in the same underground, uh, uh, ADX, uh, unit that they ain't gonna let him anyway be out there talking about he this and he that. Cause it was worldwide known. He made it worldwide known. You know what I'm saying? So, none of his story that OG brought up, dude, none of his story seems to be correct at all. I think that he did that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to give him, I guess, some kind of stuff. So, people that's going to look at him because he got some, some reggae stuff or whatever he's doing over there. Oh, I thought the dude was kind of man here, but now he's Jamaican. So, I don't really understand that part either. But my thing is, oh, like I said, I don't really, I think that whole story is concocted. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't sound right at all. So I wouldn't go for that information. Because, you know, the first person that's going to leak information like that is going to be the feds themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The feds themselves are going to be like, yo, we had this dude here and he, he's dead now. Yeah. 
Especially somebody okay. that, that is as known as uh, uh, OG Mac is, I would assume. Yeah, of course. You know you know what they're going to do. They're going to celebrate that one. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand something like when, um, for example, rest in peace to the to, to the one of the realists. When, when John Gotti passed away, you know what I mean? They let it be known. You know, today we lost John Gotti and it was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to do the same thing with Mac. And more with Mac because, you know, he was a, 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 he's an Afro-American that they felt had too much power. And they were glad that whole thing happened with him. And, you know, they took away his power and they kind of broke up the power. So they feel they have more, uh, more hands in, more hands in, uh, situations than they had before. You know what I'm saying? When they had supposedly one dude running stuff. You know what I mean? So, you know how it goes, uh, uh for us. You know, what they do is, these people, they just throw news up there and then people start looking and, you know, just out of curiosity, you check it out and then you get to see someone new and the next thing you know, you start to, uh, let me look at this dude's stuff. You know what I'm saying? And even if the stuff is a lie, he still got views. Yeah. You know, it's because cause a lot of people are going to go in there for views. He's still going to get paid for his view. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 So he, because off of that, on one hour, he got 1.7,000, 1.7, 1.7, I think, thousand views in one hour off of that. I looked at that, too. You know what I'm saying? What I did was, let me see his views. And and the minute he put that up, you know what I'm saying? Then I looked at his prior um, his prior ones that he put up, and they didn't hit, the, hit it like that one did. That one hit it. You know what I'm saying? So he got a whole bunch of views from, from a concocted story. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen soon, right? Okay, so um, I want to talk about the OG Mac thing, but I want to explain something to y'all. And remember, I told y'all a whole year prior to YouTube changing their policy that YouTube was going to change their policies. Don't forget that I told y'all that. A whole year prior to YouTube changing policies, I told you YouTube was going to change policies. And I'm about to say something. YouTube is trying to create like Disney Plus. Netflix brand. They want the, they want to turn YouTube into its own type of cable type network. Pretty soon people aren't gonna be able to make channels. You're gonna have to it's gonna be such a rigorous uh thing you're gonna have to go through to make a channel that people that be on here BSing and doing crazy shit, they if they're not even gonna want to do it. You understand what I'm saying? That's how hard it's gonna be to be able to actually monetize YouTube in the future, probably in a couple of more years. But before they get to it, one of the things YouTube is going to have to do is they're going to have to get rid of channels that just purposely put out fake news. Now, we all get bad information sometimes. Do not get this confused, okay? I've gotten bad information numerous times. I usually don't share the shit. I tell, somebody tell me some shit that I think is a little, I don't know about that. I wait for confirmation. I wait. I Maybe I know somebody. I can speak to somebody. Um, something. I wait to try to confirm it with at least one more person. Minimum. I don't do videos off of other YouTube videos, channels. Um, I just don't. Like, it, like, it's so rare if I do a video off of something that somebody else did, I make sure I give them their just deserves for two reasons. One, if this information ain't correct, I got it from you. I thought you were a reputable source. You proved me wrong. Don't worry about me watching your channel no more because you made me look stupid. I'm out. Right. So. Right. And they, they're on it already. Um, Because, uh, First of all, a lot of people don't know. YouTube has their own cable. So, like, you see how people have go and get Spectrum. Some people go and get, uh, what's the other cable one? Uh, whatever, Dish Network. YouTube has the same thing. YouTube TV. They got around 100 channels, a bunch of channels. That you don't even have to go get none of those stuff and you can get right, you can get right through YouTube TV. That's a fact. So they already they already branching off. Where if you don't have cable, if you don't want to pay all that crazy money for the cable like Spectrum and all that, you just get YouTube TV and you good. 
because you get all the basic cable channels and some. See what I'm saying? So they are already starting to um, remodelize their their faction. And you know that was going to go, because you know what, what do dudes do? Load things up. You give dudes a shot, you give dudes a shot to um to be creative and to, to be innovative. Instead, they just take advantage. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the reason why they own it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because people take advantage instead of using the open door to be innovative. Now, you know, and finish what you're saying. Oh, no, I was just, no, go ahead. One more thing I want to explain. There are big channels that do clickbaity stuff all the time. Big channels that are always doing clickbaity stuff. All right, um, Screen Crush. I had to stop watching those guys. They got a couple of programs on that channel that I actually like, like the dude that does the, um, ah, man, like they like uh, pitch meetings. I like the pitch meeting guy. His shit is funny and shit and dope. But Screen Crush has a lot of videos that they just say, what if this happened? What if that happened? What if this happened? What if that happened? You understand what I'm saying? And it's like all clickbaity. It don't none of that, none of this shit is ever based in fact. Shout out to them because they have an audience that likes that. You understand what I'm saying? That that the conspiracy audience loves shit like that. So shout out to them. They found their audience. But when you're making fake videos or you're making videos talking about somebody passed away and you don't and it might not be true, you're kind of putting yourself in a different element. Now I'm not trying to argue with the um the product dude. I mean, I don't really care. Do what you want to do on your channel. Nine times, if you want to say, you know, make a video saying whoever passed away, that's your that's your business. It's not my business. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, remember this: there's gonna come a point where YouTube is gonna get rid of a lot of chance. Uh, uh, for everybody, I had somebody tell me the other day that they lost 500 subs. I had to explain to them: you didn't lose 500 subs. YouTube deleted 500 accounts, a, a lot of accounts, hundreds of accounts, thousands of accounts, and five of them, 500 of them just happened to be on your channel. You didn't have 500 right. people unsubbed from you. YouTube deleted <laughs> a lot of accounts, a lot of accounts, and 500 of those accounts that they deleted just happened to be on your channel. I had to explain that to somebody the other day. So... They're working. Do what you want to do. I, I'm not trying to tell nobody how to run their platform. Do what you want to do. But this man just explained to you. The scenario that was told ain't even possible. He's an ADX. Right. They don't allow... He said at most they send three people out to the yard at a time. When you go to the shower, how many people are allowed to shower in the shower at one time? Shower is one. You okay. in your cell. He said that they killed them in the in in the shower. How they killed them in the shower? The shower was in your cell. That's what he said. He said some young boys, some young yeah, boys got bro. mad. He sent them to go do a he sent them to go do a mission. The young boys felt the way, and then that's what happened. He said something like that. Listen, what happens is like for example, when you're when you're an ADX and probably you had I don't know maybe twenty years in there or something. Right, what they can do is lower your custody level and send you with, to what's called the smooth program. Okay, the smooth program is for dudes that were ex gang members or are gang members, and others that came out of ADX have been a long time in ADX. They put them in the smooth program to see how they do before they attempt to put them in a, in a regular jail. But that takes a long time. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, OG Mac, he probably will be one they will let, let out because they know that he'll have no power. But they also know that he'll be in danger too when he goes to the population. Mm. So they won't they he'll be he'll be they'll be less reluctant. They they won't they won't put him in you know for more. So now when you're ADX, those those cells got showers in. Just like upstate box in the state. Your showers in your cell. So the only time you come out your cell is for the yard. Everything else comes to you. That's why they have it like that. They don't want you having contact with anybody. Hmm. That's why they got. That's why they have them. It's called non-contact. Once you down there, your contact is gone. Pistol Pete, 
Pistol Pete, the only people that contact Pistol Pete is his family. Mm. Other than that, can't can't nobody contact him. And if your mail is read going out and coming in and the scam, mm. you know, they dealing with a whole different type of security level. ADS is the highest security level in the federal system. Mm. Highest. Highest of the high. There's no more higher than that. You got you got all them dudes down there. Uh Wayne Perry, I think. On oh, no, the Wayne Perry I heard they moved into a smooth program. Wayne Perry was down there for a while. But you you had you got a lot of famous dudes in ADX that, you know, their powers were the system fear. So they keep them down there until, you know, either they rock or they feel that, okay, we're gonna let them out now. You know, like they did with uh, uh what's his name, Wally Bolger. You know, they let Wally Bolger run around knowing that eventually Someone was going to get to him, and they waited mad years, so he was mad old, and they went and got him and killed him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So their security level is way different in the feds than it is with the state. You know what I'm saying? And when you're in ADX, you have no contact. So your shower, your cell, in your cell is your shower. You know what I'm saying? You can take a shower anytime you want in your cell. You know what I mean? So... All that, he got stabbed in the shower and all that. I don't know where he gets that information from. But, you know, more titles to him. He got a lot of views behind that. You know, but at the end of the day, he probably like, they're going to figure out that it's not true. But I already got the views. Yeah, he don't care. Shout out to Billy Gordo yeah. for the uh, the donation. He said, if your name ain't Jack, your news is whack. We be in gang. Appreciate you. Um, All right. Appreciate you. Shout out Billy Gordo. I I appreciate your uh your um you calling in and speaking to us about that. No doubt, Jack. You already go, man. Um, I should be I should be I should be doing a live later on for anybody because I was off for two for two days. i uh, doing the holidays and stuff. I had to uh, go visit my um my my grandma's grave and stuff like that. But um. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be popping up and stuff, you know what I mean? Definitely, uh, I'll be on later on for everybody on the Wildcat, Wildcat station and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But, um, I definitely appreciate you for all, cause you always keep putting up the good stuff and you always know to stay on top of things and that's the thing that we all need. I try to tell that to all the people that have podcasts, you know what I mean? Like, we all gotta keep our circle small cause we only throw out facts. Then those people that throw out lies and all the other crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because they looking at the spectrum from a different level, you know what I'm saying? We don't, we looking at it as we trying to be innovative. We're not trying to be destructive, you know mm. what I mean? We're not trying to look at it. We're not, we're not trying to look at it like, oh, we're going to get these views now. Who cares? Ha, 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 ha. That's other mentality. That's why, that's why welfare is the way it is. You mm. know what I'm saying? You can't just go into welfare anymore and just think you're going to get food stamps and you think you're going to get a crib and all that. Dude them blew all that up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and that's what dudes do. They blow things up. And when it gets blown up, you know what I'm saying? They're like, okay, up time for the next thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't they ruin blow, it for everybody that came after them. them. Exactly. That's what I was just about to say. I said, don't blow it up for everybody else. I'm saying because you got your own agenda, you know what I mean? Because that's not everybody else's agenda is. You ain't falling in line. That's now, if you want to put your music out there, because I see you got a little music or whatever, go ahead. If it's good music, even I'll support it. But when you point out stuff like that, and it's straight lies. Now, what are you doing? You're going to hurt your channel later on in the future. Because if you look at the chat right now, you got people saying it right now in the chat. Yo, dude, you put out fake news. Yo, dude's a cloud chaser. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't wrong. You look, Shout out to Rue Jones for the $20 drive. He says, let's, let's all chip in and buy Frost something for his great work. Come on, y'all. Appreciate you, my brother. Um, Facts. Yeah, I'm not trying to cut you off. But what I'm saying is, I believe you to be 100% correct. And at the same time, look, man, you everybody has the option to go to whatever platform they want to get their information from. Um, and I'm right. never a person that's trying to stop anybody else's ability to be able to be heard, except for on here. If you come right. on here, you talk crazy. I will stop your ability to be heard in a minute. You go to another place to do that shit. <laughs> <The> <laughs> <bad trip. laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but I've never tried to stop. <laughs> 
Somebody else from being hey, hurt. Hey, what happened? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The other, the other day, I was laughing. I was thinking, <laughs> oh, somebody in the chat gave somebody like nine bags. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I was dying. I think I hit it with like the whole, the whole, uh, 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 <laughs> the whole rack of bags. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people need that. Um, like I'm about to, I'm about to go off on on dude in a minute. Uh, right after we finish this conversation because he doesn't understand what marketing is and I'm going to explain why the question that he asked don't make sense. It was a stupid question. Um, yo, me, I usually do the sound effects. I like to do the sound effects. I got to get me a soundboard, Joe. That's a whole fact. <laughs> I got to get me a soundboard. Watch when I get a soundboard, y'all. We gonna be. I got. I got other computers in here too. I'm gonna get a soundboard so I can work on that. We gonna. Be, we gonna. Be, it's gonna be a go. Somebody been telling me to do that for a minute. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, tell uh Jack. Tell Sex Money. I said top of the morning. Uh, this ain't Sex Money. Money. This is uh Wildcat on the phone, my brother. But Billy Gordo said top of the morning. This is Wildcat on the phone. Oh. Oh, Billy Gordo, yeah, that's my boy right there. Billy yeah. Gordo being, he I, he stay in the chat. That's my dude. <laughs> Shout out Billy Gordo and everybody else in the chat. I see it. I see everybody, man. I appreciate everybody's um, input. You know what I'm saying? But the people already know. You can see it, bro. They they say it themselves right on the chat. Like, they on point. Like, people like him, they get that little, they get their little shine for about, what, an hour or two or whatever when the shit came out and boom. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he he got a, a a small a small celebration or whatever. He got his Christmas present early. He got himself 1.7 thousand views on that in one hour. Well, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to knock anybody. OG products said, "Damn, y'all throwing salt on my name." Shaking my head. I haven't said nothing bad about you, OG product, but you did say something. Nah, but here, here. It's not, hold it's on, not, hold on, hold on. It's not nobody throwing. Wait, you finish what you say. Throwing, it's not nobody throwing dirt on his name, right? It's not that at all. It's that when you put stuff out there and you be selfish, you you only think about yourself. You're not thinking about the other people who have podcasts. And then when you open the eyes of the people who who run the uh, program with other people who have podcasts, you're opening their eyes to things that they they're gonna feel that they shouldn't have on their channel. That's a fact. And then what that's gonna do. It's going to cause a, 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 a spontaneous combustion where you're going to see uh, um, them coming at everybody's channel. That's a see, fact. To see to see if they, they stuff is, is, is right. To see if the stuff that they put down is content that they want on their channel. You see, you cause scrutiny where you don't need to cause scrutiny. You see what I'm saying? That's what, I, that's what we're saying. What we're saying is that if you're going to put something out, you know what I'm saying, let it be factual. Because if you're going to put something out and it's not factual, then what you're doing is you're going to cause unnecessary scrutiny to all the other podcasts that be out there talking about certain situations that revolve around what you put now. You know what I'm saying? I support everybody's podcast, but when it when it comes to a podcast that's not putting out facts, you got to put out facts, bro. Because if you don't put out facts, then they're going to be like, okay, we got this guy doing it. Let's see if this guy's doing the same thing and this guy's doing the same thing. You know what? I think we need to concentrate on these dudes here. They got the ghetto podcasters and all that. Let's let's see the stuff that they do in this contact that we want on our channel. That's a whole fact. Okay. Hold on. Shout out to New York Silver Stack of five dollar drive. He says hashtag force holiday gift donation. We appreciate you fan bag season. Um OG product. <laughs> Hit me on my DM. Somebody put my, my IG. Hit me on my DMs and send me your number. I don't got your number, my brother. Hit me, somebody put my, um, my, actually it's right there up on the screen, I am the real Jack Frost, hit me in my DM, send you my number, send me your number, I'll call you right now, like that, it's that simple, other than that, I don't know what to tell you, anyway, yo, I'm gonna let you go, Wildcat, anything you wanna go out with? Yeah, man, shout out to everybody in the chat, man, and, um, more or less, man, check me out on Instagram, Wildcat555, and on YouTube, on the Wildcat channel. Um, and always support Frost, man. Stay up in there with Frost. Frost keeps giving up that good information, man. That factual information. And, Appreciate um, you. let's, 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 let's think about each other, man, when we're doing these podcasts too. Like, it ain't about c competition. It's about us growing. We're not going to be able to grow if we, we throw dirt on each other. And we're not saying throw dirt on each other directly. Even when we're doing things that to us, we're doing it for a different agenda. It might affect more people, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta take 
around the box, not just in the box. That's a fact. That's a whole Salute. fact. Salute, my brother. Appreciate you. All right. All right, Jack. It's the OG Wildcat right there. That's a whole fact. Look, homeboy, I'll call you, but you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to hit my DMs and send me a number. I ain't got your number. Oh. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.